Okay, great. We're going to continue and discuss the organization ethic. The organization ethic, we don't really know where it comes from, um, but the general idea is always put the benefit of the organization first. Now, of course, the problem with that, you know, the, so the idea of thinking, well, if it's ethical for the organization, it's probably ethical behavior, is that some people may put their own self-interest aside for the benefit of the organization. I mentioned this a little bit earlier on um, some of the modules, but you hear stories like in Japan where people will literally work themselves to death. They'll be at their desk for 48 hours straight, not eating or drinking, and they just literally have a stroke, fall over, and die. I know that uh, I always think about, you know, when I was in the Army, um, I had a, a sergeant who had some family issues, and I told her to go ahead and take care of them, that I would cover down for, and, you know, families, you got to take care of your family first. Well, I got yelled at by this major, and he was saying that sending your subordinates home to take care of family issues was not living the Army values. Well, I thought that was ridiculous. There was absolutely no reason not to send her home that day. But it's a good example of how the organization ethic is also not particularly perfect when it comes to types of ethical reasoning. Next, we will talk about the principle of equal freedom.